Joining us live is the Deputy Opposition Leader, Susan Lee. Susan, um, a few of these points are put to Stephen Jones a short time ago. I'll get your reaction to it. These uh, quite alarming comments from West Farmer's boss yesterday who warned the economic honeymoon is now over and he's gone so far as to warn against an increase of 5% to the minimum wage this Friday when that rolls around. He says it could stifle investment and put jobs at risk. Do you have those same fears? Well, we'll let the Fair Work Commission decisions take their course. We always say that that is an independent process. But I always say, Pete, that everything is going up except your wages. And this is the problem. As the Treasury Secretary indicated last night, and you mentioned Mr Scott from West Farmers, wages are not keeping pace with inflation unless the government puts in place a proper plan for inflation. We aren't going to fix the circumstances that ordinary workers and households find themselves in. And I listened to Stephen Jones reciting the Labor Party talking points. The problem is those talking points don't fix the problem. And he was talking about supply side issues in the budget. I couldn't see a single one. I mean, real economic measures that would make a difference might, for example, include top of the list affordable and reliable energy. And that's not happening. Congestion busting when it comes to infrastructure, when we've seen a budget that didn't even mention infrastructure, and of course, flexible and productive workplaces. So there is much work that this government should be doing. It's not showing leadership. You've got uh, the RBA governor appearing in about an hour's time in a budget estimates committee. What do you want to hear from him today? Well, he's a straight shooter and I'm sure he'll tell it as it is. But I note the budget papers said the cash rate would stay at 3.85% until early 2024. So that if that rate moves upwards, then we can clearly point to it being because of the government, not because of the RBA. And the RBA has had to do a lot of heavy lifting for this government. I take no issue with them. They're doing their job. The problem is that the Albanese Labor government is not doing its job. Now, the RBA also made well-documented mistakes as well, but uh, we want to move it on to PwC, Susan. It was behind 15 schemes, would you believe, designed to help multinationals sidestep tax laws. I mean, everyone tries to minimise tax, don't they, and p including big companies, but 15 times they've tried to sidestep is quite significant. What's your thoughts on this? Well, these are dreadful revelations and not a good look at all for PwC. Pete, there's a police investigation. That process will have to run its course. We'll have to see how far that goes. Hmm. This is a wake-up call for corporate Australia, absolutely. Are you comfortable with them getting awarded contracts again in the near future? Well, the police investigation will reveal exactly the extent of what I certainly acknowledge looks like a pretty ordinary set of circumstances when it comes to the behaviour of certain individuals. But let's wait for that police investigation to conclude. Like everyone, I've read the reports and absolutely they are a wake-up call. Um, on the matter of contracts, Pete, last night in Senate estimates, <coughs> we heard some disturbing revelations about a $23 million contract that was awarded to COSBOA closely linked with a firm called 89 Degrees East, stacked with Labor Party staffers and identities with no transparent process at all that actually demonstrates probity, public interest and transparency. So uh, I am calling on the government to actually freeze that grant process right now. You simply cannot give right. a grant like that, $23 million to Labor mates and... That's on a different level to PwC though, it. right? Um, well, it's a level that this government should be taking responsibility for. Uh, yes, I acknowledge they're two different things, but transparency and the public interest and doing things the way that people would expect you to do, especially when it comes to awarding substantial amounts of money, $23 million to a firm called 89 Degrees East that is linked very, very closely with the Labor Party that seems to have been handed this money through... Uh, bespoke budget process. How can that possibly be uh, be right?